One of them dudes, man, you know, you cool with me, I'm cool with you, right? We all like that. But if you step to me, I'm going to step to you, right? And these, these mean-ass witches come up to me, and they got in my face, and I told them, I said, look, damn it, I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. Leave me alone, right? I don't need no Girl Scout. I hate the Girl Scouts. They scare me. Anybody got kids? Yeah. Of course, you're Latinos. Everybody has kids. I don't have any kids, man. Hey, you got grandkids? Yeah. Oh. I don't have any grandkids. But you know, I took this gig tonight too because they got me out of babysitting my seven year old nephew. Yeah, oh, he scares me. My seven. Because my sister, she likes to go out and screw around, right? I'm not going to watch that kid, right? We got in a fight. We got in a fight last time I watched him. He got all mad at me, you know? Because I didn't know everything about Michael Jackson. Right? You know, I don't know everything about Michael Jackson. I love Michael Jackson, but this little kid, he's obsessed with Michael Jackson. You know? And I couldn't answer his questions. And he goes, well, Uncle Mario, you don't know anything about Michael Jackson. That's why you're a big dumbo. Seven years old, called me a dumbo. You don't know anything about Michael Jackson. And I told him, well, yeah, did you know that Michael Jackson's dead? No. I go, yes, he is. He's dead. And he's upstairs under your bed. He's waiting for you to go to sleep. He's going to grab you with his glove. Little brat, right? And then he told me, he goes, well, yeah, well, Uncle Mario, that's why you don't have any wives or children. I'm like, what? Yeah, you don't have any children. You don't have any wife. And I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to insinuate I'm gay, right? That's what my dad does. My dad goes, mira, Mario. Mira, Mario. Look at his age, never been married, no kids, he's like, hey, Mario, he's like, hey, right? Always got to hear that. We got to hear that, Rasa, right? We don't get married, he must be gay. I'm not gay. I can't even swallow Motrin. How the hell am I going to be gay? <laughs> I can't. I got to chop them up, you know? And then smash them with two spoons and put in ice cream and eat it, you know? Ain't no man going to let you do that with his dick, right? <laughs> okay. Actually, you know, um, I just, uh, I turned 50. Brother 50? Hey, first of all, where's my 50 year olds at? Make some noise. Brother, you 50? Good, I got some questions for you. What the hell's happening to my body, man? No, everything. First of all, you turn, let me tell you about 50. First of all, 50 is the new 50, and that's it, right? That's it, it's just 50. Right? And you know you get love because all your high school teachers are dead. What happened to my teachers? They're dead. Because you're 50. And then another thing I didn't know, your huevos drop again. What did they drop when? They dropped when I was 12. And they dropped when I was 50. Stairs, stairs, stairs are kicking my butt, right? Not going up, I'm going down. Are oh, you like me, brother? I go sideways. Oh, man, stairs. Go sideways on the stairs. But it's all good being 52, man. I love being 50. What do you call? I got a girlfriend. I got a beautiful girlfriend. Yeah, what? Thank you, lady. Yeah, that's right. I'm not saying no. That's right. Hey, she's 50 years old as well. I got a 50 year old girlfriend, brother. Yeah, you know what that means, right? Yeah, we have 100 year old sex. That's right. 100 year old sex is what we have. People say, oh, how you gonna have 100 year old sex? I said, well, you know, you ever watch a baseball all-star game, and they got other old players out there, and then Nazi goes, you know, we got about a thousand years of baseball. <laughs> Same thing with us. We got a hundred years of sex, right? <laughs> you youngsters, let me tell you about, about hundred-year-old sex. First of all, you need a lot of pillows, right? <laughs> no, dude, seriously. I didn't know. First time I went over there, she got 14 pillows on the bed. I'm throwing them on the floor. She's like, baby, baby, we need those pillows. I said, what do you need the pillows for? She goes, well, that's my neck pillow. That's my kidney pillow. That's my surgery knee pillow. That's my calf pillow, right? She had a pillow shaped like a heart with a bunch of bite marks in it. I said, I hope this is the dog's pillow, damn it. <laughs> yeah, man, a lot of instructions, you know. A lot of instructions and honey, your sex, right? You know, she yells at me, no, 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 baby, baby, take, take my leg off your shoulder. That's my surgery knee. I can't go that high, baby, take it off. No, no, I don't have full flexibility, baby. You know, and then I turn into her. She throws the other leg up, and I go, oh, that's my rotator cuff. That's my rotator cuff. Get off my rotator cuff from work. I tell me, that's what, no, it just happened. <laughs> grabbing things. She got a nightstand full of stuff. I'm grabbing things. She's like, no, baby, that's not lube. That's icy hot. I don't want that in me. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Love it, man. Honey, old sex. We're going to get married, too, man. What about married people 
People say, how come you try to lose 50 pounds? I say, well, you know, I'm tired of going to that fat man store. You know the one I'm talking about, the big and tall store? I hate that store, man. What they call casual mail. You ever hear that one? Not a whole lot of actors wear casual mail store. You only got two types of clothing at the casual mail store. Right? What they got? Hawaiian shirts. Right? They always want to put us in Hawaiian shirts. Like, you can't see us already. And I got, I got a lot of Hawaiian shirts, homes. I do. I got this one Hawaiian shirt. It's got all the islands on it, right? All the islands on the back. And on a clear day, you can see Japan from this shirt. And then the other thing is what they said. They always want the big man to wear all black. You seen that? Wear all black because you look thinner. We don't look thinner. We look hot. Really? Right? Oh man, this, this moon is out tonight, right? I ain't gonna wear all black. I go downtown Oakland, I get hit by a taxi. They'll be like, what'd you run the moon for? You'd be like, I was trying to get to LMB, I thought he was in the tunnel. Laugh at my pain. Let me get some water. Salud, everybody. You guys ready for this election? We gotta check it out. Yeah. Yeah? You know what to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't getting no trumpet. Hey, you ever look at Trump's hair? That's why I don't like him. You look real, it looks like Fidel, doesn't it? You got Fidel on his head? Hey, I was next door in Quito Salt. They got Fidel on the menu, man. Hell is good. Desde la mera Fidel y some toast también, cabrón. We got the we got the drinking out the way. We got the. Uh, I wish my grandmother was here. There you go. My dad lives in Redwood City. I wish my grandmother was here. Man. There you go. My grandmother's not here. Anybody? Anybody? Your grandmother departed? Yeah. Yeah. I miss my grandma. My grandma, man. She was crazy. I love my grandma. She taught me how to cuss. My grandma. She did. She used to say something all the time, shit or go blind. That was her thing, shit or go blind. Grandma, how you know it? Oh, I don't know whether it's shit or go blind. She said that all the time. She said it so much, I was afraid to use the toilet, right? My dad got pissed because he had a bipedal fist bump. How we doing, brother? Yo, how many of you seen Flo before? Very close. Very, I, last uh, a couple weeks ago, I opened for Little Joe, and now I'm opening for Flo, man. Unbelievable. Yeah. So I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna leave you with this. What do you call it? Uh, I spent uh, I spent ten months in rehab, right, in Oakland. A place called City Team, and uh, I gotta go back there and give a speech next month. And I was thinking about it over here, man. When I was in, the, in my program, right? What do you call it? I don't tell a recap story. What do you call it? Um, we had a lot of fun, man. You know, I've been doing comedy since 2008. And uh, what do you call it? I gave up comedy because I was drinking. I was one of those guys that couldn't drink. I couldn't even come here, man. I was almost that guy. But one of the things we did in the, in the rehab program, what do you call it? Uh, we had this white dude who ran it, a cat named Brad, right? Brad was cool, man. He had a pop door and everything. And he liked to check in on us, you know, in the classroom, see what we had going on. Kind of like case management. And uh, he was uh, asking everybody what he got going on today. Some cats got to go to the doctor. Some cats got to go to court, right? So he just want to know what's going on. So he asked my roommate, Johnny. He goes to Johnny. He goes, hey, Johnny, what do you got going on today? And Johnny, Johnny was a crackhead. Johnny was my roommate, but he was a crackhead. And he one of them brothers, you know them brothers that talk real fast, right? That was Johnny, right? So all Johnny wanted to tell him was he had to go to the doctor and he had a court appointment. Which one should he not go to? Which is easy. Don't miss the court, right? They put you in another program, right? So Johnny, Johnny, what do you got going on today? And Johnny looked at him and he goes, Mr. Bray, I got to go to Holly House for a drug court. Hey, what am I supposed to do? And Brad couldn't understand what he said, right? He goes, what the hell did you just say? He goes, Mr. Brad, I got to go to Highland House for a drug court. Hey, what am I supposed to do? And Brad had a short fuse because he's like, man, I can't understand a damn thing this man said. Can somebody translate? So I knew 
with Johnny, that's my boy. So I raised my hand. He looked at me, he said, Mario, Mario, can you tell me what the hell Johnny just said? And without missing the beat, I looked at him, I said, well, Mr. Brand, I got to go to the hospital drug going, hey, what the hospital is to do? Exactly. And that was the reaction I got, man. And I knew that uh, I still had it, and I could come and be a comedian and chase my dream. And that's what you saw here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much for coming out.